Can you duplicate a car key using the Flipper Zero? If you guys don't know what this is, basically it's a device that can receive and replicate any signal. You can also play Snake, which is pretty cool. Let's see if this device can pick up this car key signal. The short answer is... Hacking a Tesla with my Flipper Zero. I'm the bad guy. Hello, darling. Hello world, Flipper Zero scammers want your crypto, the ring doorbell swatters have been identified and the FBI was hacked. That's all coming up in today's roundup of cybersecurity tech news. There's zero chance you haven't heard about this thing, the cybersecurity pen testing Swiss army knife otherwise known as the Flipper Zero. Guess who got a Flipper Zero? Alright you guys, thanks for joining me today. Today we'll be looking at keyless entry systems with our Flipper Zero and we'll be scanning to see what we can pick up. These key fobs generally operate on a frequency of 315 MHz in the US and Japan and 433.92 MHz in Europe. As you can see here. So today we're going to see what we can pick up. With the flipper zero if you have a flipper zero you can use these settings to pick it up if not just watch it for the entertainment value so you open your menu go to sub gigahertz you should go down to read raw but you want to change the configuration because right now we're scanning at 433 so you want to change your frequency all the way down to the bottom where it says 315 and change the modulation on the bottom to AM270. So you'll start recording. Pick up a key fob that you know is working. Press one of your buttons. If it doesn't read, you can try another button. Obviously this key fob has a dead battery. The one that I tested earlier was this one. So you can still see it's still reading. So if you press, you'll get a little spike on the graph. So what you'll do is you'll stop. You can either erase it if you don't want that huge long length before and after the signal. Erase it. Make sure it's still in 315. Record it again. And quickly push the button. Stop. And there you have your one signal for the panic button. So now you can take this signal, save it, type in whatever you want to save it as, and then you can go to your save section. You can see I already have some. 
and you can actually deploy. You can send out signals with this to copy and mimic the signal of that panic remote.